So next part is add the two F. Clear? So how many of you have got this uh, image formation part? Please, uh, does anybody have any uh, issue? No, sir. Till now is everything clear? Hashid, Abdullah, yes, Shweta, Adil. Yes, sir. Okay, that's yes, clear. sir. That's clear. Okay, okay. So let's make the next thing. Like uh, just a second, yeah. Should I write this? Yes, Abdullah, you should make these notes, dear. I'm like, I ask everybody to write down this, these things, whichever, whichever I'm writing on the screen. You should make your own notes as well. Okay. okay no, actually, like, we started from the electricity one, right? That's why I was asking. Okay, but that was basically an introductory class. So, uh, when like now you have joined the batch, I will share the notes of the previous classes as well. When I will give the backup, you can take references of that. Clear. Okay, so I'll continue from here then. Okay, okay, Abdullah, no issues. So let's start the beyond uh, at two F. So our next position is now we have at this uh, like first our object was at infinity. Clear. And now we have just shifted the object. Now the position of the object is just around like uh, which is beyond the two F. Like it's before the two F. Clear. Is everybody clear? So now our next position is that's our just a second. This is our first one. This is our second one. Now our third one. Clear. So at two F2. Let me draw the figure. It's the parallel axis and it's the clear. Yeah. So now just it's our suppose F2 and it's our 2F2. It's our F1 and it's our 2F1 and this is our O. What is O? Optical center of the lens. Clear? The middle part. Okay. So, <clears throat> now our object is placed basically at the center or at the 2F2 of the spherical lens. So, it's right here. Clear? Up right side. Okay, everybody? It's a little bit tilted. Let me make it straight. Okay. So now tell me what will be the first ray? Can anybody tell me? I've told you the first ray should be parallel to the parallel axis. Clear? And it will. Where will it go? To the principal focus. F1. <laughs> Very good. It will go like this. Okay, so now next ray, what should be the next ray? Can anybody tell me? The ray will pass to the uh, Yes, uh, yeah, Shweta, your voice is a little bit uh, lagging. Can you tell me again? Yes, through optical center. Through optical center. So what type, like, will there be any deviation in the, uh, like, when it, will, when it will pass through the optical center? No, sir. Why? Like I'm asking boss, sometimes uh, in the uh, exam itself, some questions of uh, conceptual types of questions are also there. Like two marker or one marker in a five number question. Got it? So that's why I usually ask the questions, the concept in the class itself while I, I'm solving or giving any concept. Can anybody know? Uh, can anybody tell me right now? It will pass straight to the optical center. Yeah. So... It's a kind of this thing. So you're basically it will pass through like this way. Or oh, actually a little bit. Uh, okay, so nothing but it's a kind of this. Okay, now yes, almost clear. I'm you making it's a little bit not non-symmetrical because I'm using a rough handle. So that's why it's a little bit unsymmetrical. I know that the size of the image is a little bit greater than the normal size. So that's why uh, just you can say just thing like assume that it's symmetrical because it's a rough-handed drawing so when you will write when you will draw with your hand 
So in this type, in the mirror, we have seen that whenever the object is placed at the center of curvature, yes or no? So the size, the basically the image also formed at the object uh, at the center of curvature. In the image, only the reflection part uh, in the mirrors, only the reflection part is there. But in this case, the basically rays are you can say passing through the medium. So that's why they are uh, they can move on the right side. And on the because of that, they basically the image is on the right hand side at the 2f1 which is of inverted, real and inverted type. So what will be the size of the image? Can anybody tell me? Same size. Same, same size, size, very good. So the size of the image will be same, just like as the mirror. As we have seen in the mirror part, that the mirror part is that whenever the object is at center of curvature, the image of the, uh, like, uh, the, image of the object is also at the center of curvature and of the same size, clear? Let me write down the things. First one is U is F2. 2f2 sorry and v is where 2f1 so image nature can anybody tell me real and inverted now why is everybody silent in this class is everything fine okay real and inverted size of the image image size same size. Same size. Okay. Clear? Is that clear to everybody? Any doubt till now? Does anybody have any problem in the image formation? I've given you the concept. You need to at least two ways. No, sir. Clear? Okay. That's great. So let's move to the second part, uh, the next part, which is the, now the object is at 2 F2 and it's, we are forwarding, we basically, we are, we are moving towards the pole, towards the optical axis, towards the optical center of the lens. So it will be in the next position will be somewhere between the 2 F2 and F2. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Very good. So now the, our, uh, it's the third, no? so it's our fourth part. The image formation is the fourth part. So between 2F2 and F2. Clear? Any doubt? Okay. Let me make the... Because continuously I am making the diagram because you... So that you can understand how to make these uh, image formation because five markers, five marker question will be there from it. Like three marker for this and two marker are numerical. Whether it's, uh, you can say, uh, the you can say the convex mirror, convex cave lens, it can be of anything clear. So it can be either basically of the you can say mirror formula or you can say the lens formula. So lens formula we are doing after this, we'll be doing that after this. And uh, our object is sorry, just a second, let me so it's our F2 and this is our. 2F2. That's why I'm continuously making again and again figure, but so that you can understand and basically how many of you practice these kinds of question after the class? Because uh, like in the PYQs, these kinds of question are there. How many of you have done that? Be honest. Why is everybody saying nobody do nobody like basically practice the questions? That's not good. So now tell me what should be, our first ray should be parallel. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. And the next will be. <coughs> yeah. So. Ashit, sir, when will we complete this? Because we are only having one class in my school. We are having a chapter to complete one. Okay, okay, Hashid, I will uh, talk to this about in the later class, later part of the class. I'll talk to you. Okay. So now our the second day, what where will be the second day? Basically, from the optical center. Just a second.
I'm just shifting this 2F to a little bit ahead so that because it's two at it will be made a format beyond 2F2. So now your image is at here. So okay. Two F one. Uh, two F one. Sorry, yes, it's two F one. It's two F one. Okay. So now you can see that if the object is placed between the two F two and F two, the basically the, your uh, the image is formed beyond two F one. Clear? And it's a larger size. Yes or no? You can just compare this. It's a bigger. It's an enlarged image. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so your object is between 2F2 and F2. Your V is uh, your V is at beyond 2F, 2F1. Image nature. Tell me, everybody. Can anybody tell me? Yeah. So where it will be? Real and so image nature will be real and and the image size will be enlarged or magnified. Clear? Yeah. So next, now we have here. Now we are here between the two F two and F two. What will be your next position? Yes. F two. Very good. Yes, it will be at F two. <coughs> Sorry. So it will be at F two. Just a second. Let me write it again. So it's the fourth one. It's a fifth. Fifth is at add two F two. Clear. So let me make the diagram again. So it's F two. Sorry, sorry. I'm in a little bit hurry so that we can complete this part as much as like as early as possible. Well, I need to introduce the mirror formula uh, lens formula to you. So it's the just a second. So it's F2, it's 2F2. Now the object is placed at this just a second. Okay, so suppose the object is placed here. So <clears throat> the first ray will be parallel. Yes. Yeah. First ray will be parallel and will go. So this is your F1. And now your another ray will be moved through the optical center. Now you can see that. Basically, these are parallel line, yes or no? They are not going to meet at the infinite till like they are not like basically they are not going to intersect. Yes or no, everybody? Like it's a little bit unsymmetrical because my drawing is not up to the scale. So that's why I'm just assuming that. Okay. Is everybody clear? Yes, sir. Any doubt in this? So basically, your U was at at F2, V was at infinity. Clear? Yes. Infinity. And the image size image size is highly enlarged or magnified. So Highly magnified, and the next part is image nature. Can anybody tell me what, what kind of image will be? Yes, uh, Shweta. 
real and involved real and involved so similar kind it's a kind of similar thing act uh, basically uh, in the mirror we are like we only have like a when the object was at focus till off focus every image which is formed by the concave mirror was real and inverted and the same goes with the convex lens as well but the only one position which is present in the uh, this situation so it's the between focus and optical center so last case in this is it's the sixth uh, yeah it's sixth between F2, now the object is moved a little bit between F2 and O. Clear? So, the object is at F2. This is F1. This is 2F2. And this is 2F2 to F1. And this is 2F2. Clear everybody? <coughs> Just a second. So, object is placed <coughs> some right here. Okay. So, Yeah. Yes or no, everybody? <clears throat> so now, and it one will go from the optical center. Now, everybody, tell me if I extend uh, now. Now you can see that they are not going to meet. Those lines are not intersecting. Yes or no, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, no? So if I assume that basically, not this thing, just extend this line a little bit. Now you can see that if just imagine that they are meeting at point here, yes or no? Everybody at least answer. Yes, sir. So now can you, so now you, this is your, this is your image now. I actually, I have not much space, a little bit more extension can be there. So now you can see that basically this application, this position is used when you use magnifying glass. How many of you have used magnifying glass? Yeah. So have you seen that? It's a magnified image right there. Yes or no, everybody? So basically, this image is the behind the lens. And U is the between F2 and O. V is the V behind the lens, you can say. It's not fixed, basically behind the lens and the you can say the next next thing is image nature what kind of image is this anybody tell me virtual and erect, virtual and erect. so it's the erect and the next is image size can anybody tell me what size of image is this enlarged larger than the object basically yes enlarged image size which is enlarged or magnified you can use clear everybody so we are done with the image formation of the convex lens and does anybody have any doubt any everybody please let me know does anybody have doubt at this point of time no sir clear yes sir it's clear Okay, just give me a second. Let me <laughs> just a second.
And just uh, the only two cases are there for concave lens. So just let me take those two cases and then we'll start the mirror formula or lens formula. And then only some, only I think one part, one class can like uh, will be the next class will be the last of this so that we can wrap this up. So nothing much is left, only the lens formula is left. Okay, everybody. Everybody clear? Yes, sir. It's clear. Okay. So the last part is <clears throat> the last part of the lens formation is concave lens. So because I don't want that, like I can say, uh, like how, like I can say that take this as homework. But only one or two of you can do this. Okay, like will do this, not can do this, will do this because. Uh, can like uh, some of you will forget to write and some like uh, somehow like it will appear in your exam so you just will be blank so that's why i'm just writing on my own so that you can understand and okay so let's take the first one is object is at infinity at infinity only two cases are there so So this is the thing and the concave lens is of this type. Okay. So this is the type of concave lens. Sorry for my bad drawing. Is everybody clear? So now the object is at infinity. So the rays will be parallel to principal axis. Okay. So that's why uh, I've told you that this lens is called as diverging. So the rays will diverge like this. Okay. Like this. But when you extend this ray a little bit on your own, you will see that they are going to merge. It will be a straight line. Sorry for uh, like it's a little bit distorted. So it will be a straight line. The place at where it will meet is called as F2 of this lens clear everybody please let me know whether it's clear or not yes, sir. sure any doubt in this no, sir. okay so now tell me what kind of image is this i need image to watch me virtual very good object at infinity At V at F2 image nature is virtual and because it's the imaginary line, image nature will image nature will be virtual and erect. Clear? And the next part is image size. Image size is highly diminished. Very good. very good so this is the first and the next one is the between f2 and optical center clear or you can say between not f2 sorry infinity between infinity because we have just moved the object from infinity to between infinity towards the f infinity and o so let last is this and let me take this here Okay. Again, sorry for my bad drawing because I don't have any ruler with my uh, with myself. That's why I'm not able to draw it perfectly. Okay. So now you can see that object. Okay, just a second. Sorry, I just made this for infinity part. The object is at somewhere between infinity. So first, let me mark this F one, F two. Sorry, F two and <clears throat> this is 2f2 this is o this is f1 this is 2f1 
Okay, so object is placed here. Okay, clear everybody? And the ray will be parallel. Ray will be parallel. And it will go in this direction. Clear? And one ray will go from the optical center. Yes or no? One ray will go the optical center. So basically, when you do this thing, basically when you take the imaginary line, basically it will meet at focus. The point it will, at where it will meet is the image formation part. Now you can see that the image is, is on the same side, but is of small size. Then the object. Is everybody clear? So that's your what you was at between infinity and O. V is at where? On the between F2 between F2 and O. Clear? Between F2 and O. Image nature Tell me the image nature. Virtual And the last one is image size. It will be of diminished. Okay. So everybody, the image formation part is clear. How many of you are clear with this? Tell me. Be honest. I just want the honest answer. So let me, please, does anybody have any doubt? Let me write down the next topic formula. Till then you have the time to think, like, is there any doubt? Everybody. Why is everybody silent? At least respond to me, dear. The, nobody has doubt? Okay, so let's start yes, the no next. Doubt. Let's start the refraction, uh, the spherical lens. Well, sorry, the lens formula part. So basically, in the previous type, in the previous, uh, like in the mirror type, uh, in the mirror concept, we have seen that there is a formula which is mirror formula. And now, same type is there for the lens as well. But the si a little bit, uh, there is a minor difference in the, uh, in the lens formula is, Lens formula is 1 by V. Uh, how many of you remember the mirror formula? Can anybody tell me? How many of you have remembered the mirror formula? Yes, everybody. Why is everybody silent? At least let me know. <coughs> uh, sir, hmm. mirror formula is... 1 by f is equal to 1 by v hmm. minus 1 by u. 1 by v minus 1 by u. No. Adil, that's lens formula. If the sign between, uh, if the sign is plus, so it's mirror formula and the sign is negative, it's oh, yes, lens sir, formula. Yes, so this is your lens formula. Only the minor difference is that there's a negative sign in the lens formula. But in the mirror formula, this is a positive sign. 1 plus v by 1 plus 1 by u equals to 1 by u. Clear? That's the difference. Yes, okay. Okay. So let me uh, let me tell you one thing is that convex lens positive focus focal length you can say. Okay. Concave lens negative focal length. Can anybody tell me why in, uh, in the image formation, from the Im image formation, you can think, you can see that. You can, <clears throat> where will you measure the uh, focal length of the, like of the lens from the optical center? Yes. Sir. So now you're at this point in this image, your object, your image is forming at the, on the left hand side of the image, so of the lens. So now you, you will go in this direction to measure the distance. It's in the, it's the negative direction or positive direction. The light is going in this direction. 
it's the opposite opposite direction of uh, basically the direction of light after we have taken the direction of light as positive so it it's in the opposite direction of light so it will be negative so that's why and the in the um, basically the you can see that now the light direction is this and our image is also here if I basically measure, if I have to measure the focal length of the convex lens, I will move in this direction because the ray is meeting at this point of time, at this point. That's why the focal length of convex lens is positive. Is everybody clear with it? Yes. Any doubt in this? Sure. And the magnification, linear magnification basically, it's called linear magnification or magnification just. Let me write only magnification because I'm a little bit confused whether it's magnification or linear magnification. So I'm writing only magnification. So magnification is small m, just we have what we have used in the mirror. Uh, is V by U. Can anybody tell me what was the, uh, is there any difference between the magnification of mirror and lens? It's minus In, yes, the negative sign. Basically, the uh, magnification of mirror is, mirror is minus V by U. But in lens, there is no sign. But when you will use this formula, you have to put sign conventions here. Everybody, you have to use sign convention. You have to use sign convention. You have to put F as positive if it's concave convex lens. You have to put F as negative if it's concave lens. You have to put the V as positive or negative up, uh, with, uh, depending on the situation. And you have to put the U as negative. Clear? Yes. Does it, anybody has doubt in this? Is everybody clear with it? Respond here, everybody. Okay, so let's do the some numericals so that we can imply this. And uh, similar kind is that basically HI and HO, it's also HI by that, that's also same. Okay, so there is nothing much different in the so I have one numerical. So I have sent the, uh, I've shared the Aschand, uh, Aschand PDF. How many of you have received that? Everybody got it? Yes. Um, basically, that's a very good book for your reference. There are a number of numericals which are present. So you can take that book as a reference and use the book to uh, solve the numericals. Okay, everybody. That's why I've uh, shared that book. I've just downloaded it from the internet uh, because like somehow I just searched and downloaded it because it's very difficult to find that book. Just a second. Actually, I have to switch off my camera to take the screenshot because my video is coming in the screenshot. Okay, so that's a problem. that's a question. Let me switch on my camera. So that, that's a question which you have to uh, in which you have to use the lens formula. Clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Just a second. So the question is saying basically solution is there. Question is saying a convex lens of focal length ten centimeter. So let's first of all your uh, job is to write the given information on the first uh, in the first second clear f is 10 centimeter whether it's positive or negative positive. tell me dear positive negative positive. positive 10 centimeter at a distance of 12 centimeter from the wall okay how far from the lens should an object be placed so that it forms a real image on the wall 
So basically, what's your uh, you? The, can you tell? Uh, what, yeah, now tell me whether it's twelve centimeter U or V. It's U or V. Twelve centimeter is U or V. No, it's V. Why? It's saying how far from the lens should an object be placed. It's asking the object where it should be placed. Where should the object be placed from the lens? So you can <clears throat> okay. So that's why it's V. Okay, clear. So it's form a real image on the wall. So it should form a real image. So now apply the formula. So V will be positive. Yes or no? So because only there is one case in the convex lens, which is of uh, you can say that your your V will be negative, which is the between pole between optical center and focus, and it's asking uh, that's a virtual image, but it's asking the real real image. So your V will be positive, positive twelve centimeter. So just write down the formula V one by F equals to one by V minus one by U one by ten equals to one by V is one by twelve minus one by U. Clear? One by U will be taken here, and one by twelve minus one by ten. Clear? Multi just cross multiply them. It would be one twenty. Ten minus twelve. So it is minus two by one twenty. So just divide them. It's minus sixty. So one by U is of minus so, one by sixty. Yes, Ishita. So how it's minus two? So it's minus two. Ten minus twelve. Okay. Twelve minus ten is two, right? Ishita, we have taken the cross multiplication 10 will go multiply with this and 12 will multiply with this if i am if i it will be 2 uh, 2 by 120 it will be positive so is the like have you seen like we have we are measuring we measure the distance from optical center and u is always placed in front of here basically the object is placed in front of the lens or mirror so it will be negative because we measure the distance from distance from optical center and we will move in this direction which is opposite of the light That's how you can imagine. Okay. Just a second. Let me. LCM, LCM. Yes, uh, Shweta, I'm not yeah. able to hear you. Ah, so like uh, Shweta, your voice is not coming to me. Like your voice is very so, dim. So, so. Yes, Shweta. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. So. Twelve by one twenty, ten by one twenty. Uh, how did you take the like? How have like how like what's your procedure one to take the LCM? One one by V plus one by U is one by F. So I took one by V on the. Why did you take one by why why did you take plus between one by V and plus one by U? Yes, Iba. Yes, oh, sorry, Shweta. Yes, sir. I did a mirror formula. That's why I'm saying. Just a second. Like actually, my screen got now clear. It's my screen is not working. Okay, clear everybody. So it's yes. you. Just revert them. So it you will be minus of sixty centimeter. So you have to place the object at sixty centimeter from the lens. Clear everybody. Why is everybody silent? At least, please respond to me, dear. It's not a one-way class. Is everybody there? Adil, Hashid, Abdullah. Yes, sir. Yes. Why? Sir. Why everybody is silent? Sir, it is taking time to unmute. After I click, it takes like five seconds to unmute. So both, I'm asking to everybody to unmute for the class. I don't have an issue if there is a background noise. So it would be large. So I will just say and mute yourself. But whenever if it's minus, so I will just uh, ignore it. 
it think okay, it looks sir. like that i am only speaking in the class i am not getting any response from anybody okay so let's take the one more numerical These types of numerical are not there in NCERT. That's why I'm taking it from the another book, and you will receive these kinds of uh, numericals from in the exam itself. So the object is basically saying, <clears throat> so basically the question is saying, sorry. So the question is saying that if an object of seven centimeter height, so height of the object is given. So somehow, so let's. H O is given, so it will be positive or negative. Positive. Okay, Shweta said positive. Hashi Abdullah Adil, tell me what's your, what's the uh, sign of the uh, height of the object? Positive, negative. Positive. Positive. Adil. The positive. Hashi. Okay, Abdullah. Okay, Adil. Seven centimeter will be positive, okay? Positive seven centimeter because okay. the object is placed upright the principal axis because always object is placed upright, okay? Yes, sir. At a distance of twelve centimeter from a convex lens, read the type of lens very carefully. Distance is twelve centimeter, so your U will be positive or negative? Sir, positive. U will be positive. I've just given you the example. Yeah, Shweta. Oh uh, yes, sir. For convex lens, it's negative. Uh, yes, sir. Adil. Ne okay, Ashish, got it. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. negative twelve centimeter. Negative twelve centimeter, Adil. Because we move, we basically measure the distance from optical center, and the object is placed here. It will be placed in front yes, of the mirror, and we will move in this direction. It's the opposite direction of light. Next is yes, sir. Focal length is given as eight. It will be positive or negative. Focal length, convex lens. Uh, negative. Okay, Shweta. Shweta. Negative. Negative. Hashid. Abdullah. Negative, sir. Negative. So negative. Okay, so nobody is listening to me. Like I was, I've just stated that thing. Convex lens is there. It will be positive. It's on the right side of the image. Sorry, right side of the lens. Uh, I read it as true by mistake. Okay, eight centimeter will be positive of eight centimeter. Clear? That's why okay, I'm just. Sir. That's why usually you basically ask you to involve in the, the class, because that's a very confusing thing. You like you will you will get confused whether you have to take a positive sign or a negative sign. If you take any of the sign wrong, your whole answer, your whole question numerical will be wrong, and you will get zero. Yes, sir. Out of five, you will get zero directly. I am saying you will get zero in the next after this Friday, this Friday except this Friday next the coming next Friday, uh, the coming Friday is yes, you will be having a physics test. If anybody of you will make the negative, like the sign between this, I will cut all the mark. I'm not going to give you a single mark because in the board it's, itself, you are go not going to get the marks of step. If you have done the calculation wrong, your answer is wrong. How, how will like how will anybody give you any mark? Only half marks will be given of this portion. Will you be satisfied with uh, half out of five? No, sir. No, no. So that's why I'm saying, please be focused in the class. It takes time to understand. I know it's a confusing thing. So one by F equals to one by V minus one by U. Clear everybody? Yes, sir. One by eight is there equals to one by V. We need to find the value of what? Find the side position, nature and height of the image. Position is V. One by yes, V sir. minus minus of 1 by 12. You have to take the negative sign of the uh, object distance. 
Okay. Yes, I've sir. told you that use sign convention. So it will be so one minus by and minus will be plus. Minus minus plus, and if you take this here, it will be negative again. Yes, sir. One by twelve equals to one by v. Just cross multiply them. One by v will be equals to twelve. Twelve into eight. Don't multiply them in the start because they there will be a multi multiple which will directly cancel them. So if you multiply, it would be basically a complex thing to divide it again. Okay. So it will be twelve okay, minus eight. So four twelve into eight. Now you see that four two is eight. It's cancelled. That's why I'm, that's why I told you that uh, no, not to multiply them. So one by twenty four. So just revert them. So it will be twenty four centimeter. Now you can see that it's positive. Yes, sir. Okay. So it's a if it's a positive, basically the image distance is positive. <laughs> so now what will be the nature of the image? Uh, real. Real. And inverted. And inverted. Very good. Real and inverted. Clear. So now tell me. After now we have done the nature of the images. Well, how will you find the height of the image? Can anybody tell me? Um, sir, we have to check it like with the theory. Like yes. I know is equal to h one by. H1. Okay. Now you you have the formula, na? No? M is equals to v by u. Now you don't have the height of the image or height of the image. But you have the object distance and image distance. You have calculated right here. Yes, sir. M will be v is positive twenty four and u is negative twelve. Yes or no? Negative, negative twelve. Yes, sir. So it will be minus two. Minus two. Minus minus sign is representing that it's the real and inverted image. Okay. If anybody asks you that, what is the negative sign? The magnitude is saying that it's enlarged, but it's saying that it's the Negative, it's the real and inverted part. Real. Okay. So one more thing you have m is equals to h i by h o. M is equals to h i by h o. Height of image yes no? by height of object. Height of object. Yes. You are, now you have the magnification part and you have the object height. Minus two yes, will be h i upon what is the value of this? Seven. 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 It's positive seven. Clear. Yes, so H I yes minus fourteen. H I is minus fourteen centimeter. 14. Minus sign is representing again. It's downward. Real and inverted. Yes, it's not the upright image. It's the downright image. Clear. Minus sign is representing that. Have you got this? How to solve this formula? How to solve these questions? Yes, sir. Any doubt in this? No, sir. Yeah. So just I'm requesting to all of you again. Please take this thing. Like take this thing seriously. It's not like it's a very confusing thing. It takes time to understand. If you do in hurry everything, so it will be not benefited you. Clear? Yes. So that's all. Only one part, like only the minor part is left. Only in uh, in the next class, I think that our chapter will be finished uh, because almost only types two to three types of numericals are left and. the application of uh, lenses are there which is a small part so i think next class would be sufficient to complete this chapter and then after we'll decide that which chapter shall we start okay in the class itself that will yes, be sir. a mutual decision to all of you for okay, okay so sir. that's all for this class everybody and thank you so much for asking and i'm sorry if i just uh, uh, like i was very rude in the like sorry for that was but i want Like I just want that you should understand like how thing how this is like how much this is important. Okay, please try to understand yes, and take take the classes very seriously. Like how like some of you that uh, class uh, takes the class regularly. Shweta, were you there in the previous class? Yes. Sir. Okay, Shweta was there. Like Heba is not attending class attending the class since last two classes. So please uh, be there and uh, take this class take the classes very regularly. So it will just. Uh, It it will uh, benefit you. Okay, everybody. I'm sorry again. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Take care. So, Good is bye. there an assessment today? No, 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 no assessment. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Shweta.
Nishweta, your voice is a little bit. Uh, can you speak a little yes, bit louder there? Homework. Yes, homework. I will uh, look into it again and uh, will I will talk to her, the management one. So and you, I will send her one homework again. You will definitely get it. Uh, Carbonized compound, chemistry, and biology homework. I get it regularly. Okay. Physics. I will look into it again, dear. I basically at uh, in the previous class I've uh, basically I, I had a talk with her. So again I will talk to her. Don't worry about it. You will get the previous one in the uh, coming one as well. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, welcome. Yes, Abdullah dear. Hashid, I know I like uh, I just need to talk a minute for you. Abdullah, is every like anything to say dear? No, sir. I just wanted to say sorry that I joined late. No, no, no issues. Yeah, I know that a little bit two to three minutes are just uh, compensate. No, actually, sir, uh, you know, I was late because uh, guests are coming today at my house. So I was just okay. doing some work. No issues. Yeah, I can understand some like it's fine. Like uh, it's two to three minutes are fine. But uh, like if you join a little bit late, so it would be just only a one hour class. So you will miss the majority of the part. So that's why I just I used to say all the students, please be on time. It's like it's fine. Like if you join a little bit like two to three minutes delay. So that's not an issue. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, Yes, Hashid, please, dear. Go ahead. Like, I had, like, I got your message. Hashid, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, Hashid, dear. Yes, sir. I meant to say that uh, in my school, they are going uh, with magnetic effects of electric so, current. Okay. And uh, it's like four, ch three chapters ahead. Almost so, like. Are they, Hashid, one, just dear, tell me one thing. How many chapters are done in the school? Sir, so, uh, light is done, human and colorful world is done, electricity is done. So, Adi, Hashi, dear, you can uh, just uh, yeah, say one, dear, uh, just uh, think one thing is that uh, school has almost uh, six days classes. Yes, no? Yes, sir. At least one period of all the things. Yes, sir. And we have the science, three classes of maths per week. Like you are not doing, yes, I think, are you, do, like, are you currently doing maths at Learning View? Uh, yes, sir. Maths and science. Maths and science. So I think you are in another batch. Uh, so you have three classes per week of the maths. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. And you have yes, three sir. classes of science as well. One chemistry, one bio and one physics. Yes, sir. Yes or no? So your six days yes. are fixed? Yes, sir. So Adil, uh, Hashid, dear, at least because right now you are here, so you can learn a little bit. I know that you want it. I will try to uh, look into that thing as well if I it's possible. So I will give you the extra thing, extra time to. Sure, sir. Okay. So, but uh, if I basically if I complete the chapter like the school one, so it's not like you are giving you extra time and it's not like you are not getting the rewards for what you are paying and what you are giving your time. So it's not uh, like for my concerns, it's not a good thing for me as well. I yes. Sir. Okay. So that's why uh, every chapter, I'm not saying that it, this chapter, electricity is a very lengthy chapter. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Light, human light is a very simple chapter. Okay. Next, in the next class, I will try to start the electricity because one chapter is done. Human eyes, colorful word has no, you can say the no numerical type, only the uh, conceptual part is there. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. I, if there is the, you have the uh, human eye, uh, like uh, problems like hypermetropium, myopia in your syllabus. No, sir. No, no. Uh, yes, sir. So we have. You we have. have. Okay. So yes, that's sir. a very minor part of the calculation in the this chapter. But electricity is a chapter in which you will get the numericals of various kind, and this is the chapter in which you will get the numerical. Mirror formula and lens formula is the most important topic in the image formation. 